Good morning, Kennedy Dragons. We are glad that you are here today. Today is Friday. It is April 22nd, 2022. It's the 153rd day of school, and it's also Earth Day. Earth Day is a day that we celebrate our planet. We take time to think about the great things our planet gives us, uh, the things that we can do to help take care of our planet, like recycling, cleaning things up, uh, planting uh, more trees, all that kind of stuff. So our focus is on Earth Day today. Happy Earth Day. It's also Dad Joke Friday, so of course, all my dad jokes are going to be Earth Day dad jokes. So here's the first one. What did Obi-Wan Kenobi say to the tree on Earth Day? May the forest be with you. There we go. I'm Mr. Butcher. It's my job to keep you guys safe so you can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, you've left your average at home or on the bus, and you are ready. Ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. To have a respectful. Respectful means treating others the way you want to be treated. And responsible day. Responsible is doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. Speaking of responsibility, our very first responsibility is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have at this in this country and at this school. We do this by daily saying the Pledge of Allegiance, doing our school pledge, as well as a moment of silence. When we show respect during this time, we stop what we're doing, we stand up tall, we put our hand over our hearts like this, we say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you guys would please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I'll be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Let's take this moment to reflect quietly on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Another responsibility that we have each and every day is to try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We do this by frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to use soap and water. If we do not have access to a sink to get soap and water, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer will be sufficient, but soap and water is always better. When we wash our hands, we want to get all parts of our hands. The palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, our fingertips, uh, in between our fingers, our wrists, and our thumbs. When we wash our hands, we want to do it for at least 20 seconds. Let's model what good hand washing looks like now. All right, now that we've done our hand wash and our moment of silence and our pledges, let's go ahead and get started by recognizing birthdays today as well as over the weekend. Today, the 22nd, Ava Odom is 9 years old. Happy birthday. Isabella Hollifield is 10. Happy birthday. Christian Bowen is 9. Rylan Connell is 7. And Miss McCombs has a birthday today. Happy birthday to you guys. Saturday, the 23rd, Lincoln Poling will be 6. And Kehlani Strickland will be 6. And Matthew Martinez will be six. So happy birthday on Saturday. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Alana Pickett. She will be 10 years old. We'll make sure you guys get your birthday ribbon. All right, it's now time for uh, our it's now time for us to make our lunch choice if we haven't already. Today's lunch choice: French bread pizza, fresh baby carrots, corn on the cob, and fresh fruit. If you don't want that, you can always get PB and J or the yogurt and muffin. Don't forget, fifth graders, you're getting some pizza from me today, too, from um, P. 
pizza and ice cream today from me uh, from uh, Domino. Oh, Little Caesars. I'm sorry. Another dad joke. So, how happy are farmers that it's Earth Day? They're so happy they wet their plants. <laughs> Why did the dog bury himself on Earth Day? Can't grow a tree without bark. What do you call it when the worms take over the earth? Global warming. So Earth Day is when people around the world hold events to honor our home planet and to remind everyone about the importance of our ecosystem. Education World, which is a magazine, an online magazine, offers five service activities for students who want to help make a difference in their environment. Earth Day was founded in 1970 by Gaylord Nelson, a former United States Senator for Wisconsin. Earth Day has grown into a global event. In 1970, 20 million Americans demonstrated in the streets, parks, and auditoriums for a healthier, cleaner environment. This year, hundreds of millions of people and more than 180 countries are expected to participate in Earth Day activities around the world. You don't have to look too far to find Earth Day activities and projects. Here are some activities that you guys could do. A community cleanup. We could clean up our playground. We could clean up our classrooms, uh, a cafeteria compost. Think about the food that we don't eat and see how we can do to make that compost. You guys could do um, some recycling around the building instead of throwing away our paper, maybe recycle it. Uh, you can also do a lot more research and find out some other activities that you can have. Now, Earth Day is one day. It's, it's one day that we have Earth Day, but Earth Day is really every day. We need to be taking care of our environment. Another dad joke, here we go. Where do killer whales go to get braces? The Orca Dauntist. <laughs> All right, my last one. Did you hear about the restaurant uh, for dolphins? It only has one customer, but it serves a porpoise. Love you guys. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed to student, student success. I love you very much. Have a great day. April is Poetry Month, and we are doing a different type of poetry each month. And we're still doing Sin Quain, but we did the American Sin Quain on Monday and Tuesday, and now there's a different type of Sin Quain. It still has five lines, uh, but it doesn't have to always stick to the syllable rule. So in this type of Sin Quain, line one is one noun. Line two is two adjectives that describe that noun. Line three is three present tense verbs, verbs that end in ing. Line four is four feeling words or feeling phrase with four words. And then line five is another word for the noun in line one. So let's show you some examples of a synquane in this form. Here's an Earth Day synquane. Thank you, Earth. Earth, sharp rocks, white puffy clouds, flowing, clear, falling water, earth. 